Radium Spring is located a few miles from Albany, Georgia. The spring produces 70,000 gallons of water every minute, making it the only first magnitude spring on the state and one of the seven natural wonders of Georgia. The water of these springs comes from the Upper Florida Aquifer that is present in South Georgia. There is a large cave under the spring that has not been completely explored. Most of the rocks in this area are Ocala limestone. The first people to use the spring were Native Americans that named it Sky Water for its blue color. Early settlers changed the name to Blue Spring, and in 1920, when lab tests indicated the presence of naturally occurring radium in the water, the name was changed to Radium Springs. Why they, do they stop uh, not letting people to swim or something like that? Uh, the guy that owned it in 94 it flooded, and the insurance didn't pay as much as he thought it would. And then we had a smaller one in 98, but it messed this place up again and the insurance didn't want to do anything with it so he didn't have any money left over to fix it up from the 90 from the first flood so he sold it to the state and then the state owned it for a little while and then the county came in and bought this piece here and turned it into the little garden but it, um, but there was any reason that they didn't want people swimming like to damage uh, stuff or because it was radioactive or something <laughs> i don't know uh, liability and then oh. there's some environmental stuff Oh, the okay. state nor the county wanted liability, and then there's some endangered animals that live in the cave, like okay. uh, the salamander. Uh -huh. You can only find it in three places in Florida and one place here. There's only four places in the world you can find it. Okay, so, that, that makes sense, yeah. yeah. You want and to then the striped bass from the Gulf, they come up and they breed in here. Oh, so, that, that's interesting. How, how long is the run to the, to the river? It goes to the Flint River, right? Uh, if, you, if you were in a boat, you uh -huh. could come and take it down it'd be about a mile and a half before it hits the river but it's only if you could walk across from that far side it's uh -huh. like 300 yards the spring has been used as a recreational facility since the 1900s first it had a restaurant and later a casino a golf course and even a canoe trail the healing properties of the water were promoted all over Georgia, and tourists on its way to Florida used to stop here. The casino was destroyed by fire in 1982, and then a flood in 1994 wiped out what it was still left standing. You can still see the ruins of the casino and hotel. Today, Radium Springs is a county park.